I recently bought an e-bike. E stands for electric and this bike is fantastic. It's life-changing for me. You see, I wanted to be more active. I love to bike ride, but to be honest, the hills are a killer. I hadn't ridden in years and now that I'm close to middle age, these days it's much harder to get up the hill. My e-bike has a battery that you charge up and there are five levels of assist. Zero is no help at all. One is a little bit of help and five is a huge amount of help. And I only use level five going up hills. 
to make sure I make it to the top. The electric part only kicks in if I'm pedalling. It's called pedal assist. I can't just sit back and let it take me. It still requires some effort on my part. It also only works if I take time for the battery to charge. If I don't charge it, then I'm on my own, probably walking up the hill, pushing my heavy bike. This e-bike means that I am able to actually get out and ride instead of being overwhelmed by the tough hills. In life, we face tough hills of our own. I've sat with some people recently and to say a tough hill can be an understatement. As I go through the book of James in the New Testament, it gives practical ways on how to live out the Christian life in this world and all its challenges. The book of James is writings from Jesus' half-brother, who was also known as Jacob. Jacob, or James, would have grown up with Jesus and known intimately of his teachings. Jacob became the leader of the first Christian church in Jerusalem and was trying to help Christians understand how God wants us to live, how to relate to each other and how to seek wisdom, even in the tough times. I read in James 3, if you are wise and understand God's ways, prove it by living an honourable life, doing good works with humility that comes from wisdom. It says, get along with others. Don't be jealous and have selfish ambition and don't cover up the truth with boasting and lying and don't be two-faced. It goes on to say, you can develop a healthy community that lives right with God and enjoy its results only if you do the hard work of getting along and treating each other with dignity and honour. This passage can look like a list of do's and don'ts, which is almost impossible to achieve consistently. The moment I start trying to do Christian things, being good, trying to be kind, getting on with people and trying so hard to be wise, I've missed the point of what being a Christian truly is all about. As Christians, we know that we are not perfect, but too often feel guilty of where we fall short. If I'm just trying to live a good life, I've missed the point. The point is that we follow Jesus, not just try, try and fail, but allow Christ to live in us. Living a life where you depend on Jesus is such an adventure. The times that I depend on Christ, take time to charge and spend time with the Father and allow the Holy Spirit to do a work in my life, are the times my perspective changes. There are so many more God appointments that some see as coincidences. Miracles happen and I can rely on the power that God provides. You see, my friends say to me, you are cheating having an electric bike. But I say, why wouldn't I use it? It's helping me. It says in 2 Corinthians 12, my grace is sufficient for you for my power is made perfect in weakness. So I'm happy to say that I am weak so that Christ's power may rest on me. For when I am weak, then he is strong. You see, the other day when I went for a ride, I decided to go down a huge hill that I've been told is a killer to get up. So on this day, I decided to attempt it. As I was flying down the hill so fast, I wondered if one, I might crash, and two, how am I gonna get back up? Then I remembered my battery was fully charged so I could rely on that to get me to the top of the hill. It's the same in life. When we spend time with the Father and allow Christ to live in us, we can live the life we never thought possible. I encourage you, that none of us need to do it alone. Is it time to step aside in your weakness and witness God's power do something wonderful through your life, something you thought you could never do?